The issue of wartime sex slavery and forced labor, as well as the distorted history of Hashima Island. The animosity between South Korea and Japan comes from the lingering winds of South Korea during the Japanese occupation from 1910 to 1945, which led to the ongoing trade and political dispute between the two neighboring countries. And now their long standing tensions are to reopen with another issue being raised the Sado Mine. On Tuesday, Japan's Cultural Affairs Agency proposed the Sado Mine in Niigata Prefecture as a candidate for the UNESCO World Heritage Site. If it's elected, the Japanese government will submit a letter of recommendation to UNESCO by February 1st, after which the UN body will make a decision in 2023. South Korean government immediately called for Japan's retraction of the push, calling it very deplorable. Japan The government also summoned Kazuo Chuzo, director of public information and cultural center at the Japanese embassy in Seoul, over Tokyo's move related to the mine because inside the history of it, there is more than just the gold and silver mining. The Sado mine was originally operated as a gold mine in the 1600s. Then it was turned into a facility to produce war related materials such as copper, iron, and zinc during World War II, and at least 1,200 Koreans were forced into labor at the time under harsh conditions. However, without properly recognizing the forced labor victims, Japan has been pushing to register the Sado mine on the coveted list since 2015. Now, what's making South Korea more upset is that this is not the first time. In 2015, Hashima Island, also known as Battleship Island, was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site despite the forced labor of Koreans during wartime. Even then, Tokyo promised to install an information center to provide sufficient explanations of the forced labor, but failed to fulfill its pledge by only highlighting achievements of Japan's Industrial Revolution. To prevent such cases from recurring, South Korean government plans to form a task force with experts and related agencies to deal with the recent issue. Although it remains unclear whether Tokyo will mention the wartime history and its recommendation of the mine for the heritage designation, South Korea will do its best to not forget its painful past.